Can you take us through whether you think that the AI hype is founded and where exactly in baseball terminology, if you will, what inning are we in? Uh, that's a great question. I would start by saying I think the hype is actually underdone right now. Uh, Jeffrey Hinton, who many people consider the father of machine learning, I like what he said. He said this is going to be as important or more important than the Industrial Revolution and or electricity. So when you talk about the dot-com bubble, boom, bust, whatever it's meant, that is small potatoes to what we're going to see as a result of AI. Now, the boom bust is what the concern is about, Bob. Some investors are worried that we could see some kind of a boom bust, possibly boom cycle. How exactly do you feel that the market is valuing this right now? And does it set up vulnerably to something like what happened in the wake of 2000, 2001? Well, there's always going to be excesses and people making bets in the wrong places. But I would point you to NVIDIA as the lead stock in, in this uh this sector, right? So when you look at that stock price rise and you have it as a chart there, you said, holy God, how could it not be overpriced? So in the hedge fund I run right now, we take a very systematic approach to investing. And we took, we, we invest in financial technology, so NVIDIA is not in our sphere, but we put it through our technology tools. And what's interesting, one of the filters we have, which we call the five and dime, which is relative value stocks, NVIDIA comes in six out of the 72 technology-based stocks in the S&P. So you see this fantastic run-up, but it's still a relative bargain based upon their fundamental economic performance, right? That did not really happen during the dot-com boom. When you look at its peg ratio, it's well under one right now. Its growth rate has been phenomenal. It's a highly profitable company, and we think it has a tremendous future in front of it. What exactly has been the most intriguing uh, storyline from a company perspective? I, I know that you specialize in financial technology, fintech investing, but what kinds of companies are on your radar right now with regard to how they can capitalize on artificial intelligence in the coming months, quarters, and years? So I break that down into basically two categories. One is the relative mundane where you have, I heard somebody mention the virtual assistant. You have the ability to automate, bring higher intelligence to the relatively mundane task. So we do in our hedge fund right now, we can have all the 8Ks, the, 10, the Qs, and run it against every transcript that the CEO says, and the tool will tell us where there's some type of uh, discrepancy. Just that does that automatically for us. So that's great. And the, our work then, what is the next step? And that is obviously having the AI be more involved with the investment process. So I think you're going to see a period of time where the mundane task is truly revolutionized, leading to structural change. And when you think about what's going on in AI, you know, we focus on the markets, we focus on what's happening in financial technology. But to me, the most exciting thing is you had just in the last year, through the use of AI, they solved one of the major issues with respect to the drive towards nuclear fusion. So if you think about AI is going to be responsible for getting us to fusion 10 years sooner than we might have, the impact on society of that move is almost hard to comprehend, you know, as we get to fusion and, and free power.